going to the gym next to me so definitely had to use it this morning to use other muscles than you know just legs so welcome on this video today is the eighth day that i'm cycling around italy and uh, about 800 something kilometers done and um, so today we are cycling to the adriatic coast and uh, this day is going to be very long distance day because for the past days i had some troubles if you haven't seen them make sure to check the previous videos so now since all the troubles are in the past i have to continue cycling far and today we do something special something interesting as well uh, trying free wine how does it happen that in italy you have free water fountains right but also free wine so let's let's figure it out and welcome to this video stay tuned Yeah, but one thing is clear that here beaches are way better than uh, in Rimini, for example. And uh, I'm not sure if restaurants and stuff are more expensive, probably not. But one, one thing I can tell for sure that like it's way less people. It could be that I was in Rimini on, during the weekend, but um, otherwise I would definitely go here. Definitely. Look at this. Oh, look how many. But I think they're not ripe yet. Ah, is it peach? No, I, I know, I know, I really suck at those things. But... Ah, apples. <laughs> no, not apples. What is it? Is it abricots? <laughs> I don't know. Write in the comments. Yeah, sorry for taking it off. I planned a new one. Okay, different color. Maybe those are nicer. Oh, that's soft. Mmm. Mmm. It's still not perfect, but. Way, way, way better. And that's how you know we're coming closer to the wine fountain. Come on, give me wine. <laughs> uh, it's there. I don't understand that and I don't understand this. But that seems like uh, something reservation, no? Maybe from 3.30. Come on, man. I need that. <laughs> Cycled all the way here for how long? 98 kilometers so we don't know how many hours now it's now it's three so we'll see but maybe i should try calling actually i can try calling here I mean, I can... Oh, 
Okay. Seems like somebody opened the the gate. So let's check that La Fontana del Vino. Maybe no one's gonna kick us out. I feel like I'm doing something wrong, you know. <laughs> because nowadays in the capitalistic world, you have to pay for everything. But of course, they expect that, that you know people who come here they buy something as well. Makes sense. Fontana del Vino. Grazie. No bottiglie, no? no? Ok. No, taniche, quelle più grandi, bottiglie più grandi. Ok. No, niente, solo okay. bicchieri. Ok. Grazie. <ride> Prego. I bicchieri sono nella fontana. Ok. Sì, I already speak Italian. <laughs> ok, so I think she said I don't drink from the bottle. <laughs> Which sounds perfect. Let's try it. 100 kilometers for this. Or almost 1000 kilometers for this. Looks really cool. Ooh, nice. There you go. Mm hmm. Hmm. Not exactly what I expected. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh, so strong. Really. But it has this unusual taste. Completely different than what I have tried before. In in the in the, in the, from the grocery store or, or any wine shop. Mm. Dry. So the thing is that they don't say what type of wine it is, what name is it, what is the name of the wine. But I can tell you that it has alcohol. <laughs> mm. And it's very dry, very dry, strong red wine. And probably from grapes. <laughs> anyway, so this is this one. This is like a local winery where they offer free wine. And uh, so this is for everybody, but the priority is for people who do the Camino di San Tommaso, as you can read here. Look at me, I already managed to make my dirty shirt even dirtier, <laughs> but that's all right. Yeah, as I was saying, Camino de San Tommaso is a walking trip from Roma, from Rome to Ortona. And Ortona is the closest city from here to the coast. So I think it's like 10 kilometers from here. So those people who walk the Camino, they can come here to, well, obviously try the wine for, for free and the, the first one. So if there's a line, they can, you know, try the first. But otherwise, anybody can visit when they are open. They say it's for 24, 24 7, but it's actually not. It's only when they are open, but that's good enough. So for today, I think that uh, I don't have any other spots booked or chosen to visit other than this before, of course, before, uh, or, or let's say, in, in less than 100 kilometers around me so i think i will just take my time and cycle for another 100 kilometers until i get closer to every place i want to visit and share with you guys so cheers for now <laughs> some other people came here and uh, so as always didn't speak any english and they were asking about the bicycle you know and everything and i thought I can really have full-on conversations with them because um, 
at first I was explaining how to use the fountain okay that, that I didn't use any Italian words but then I said you know one is aqua and there is vino, vino. Uh, then uh, they were asking about the thing and uh, so for example that's where I sleep so no dormire or dormio means something to do with sleeping so I can explain that show the tent you know um, <laughs> so yeah it's kind of funny but about the wine fountain right so I'm doing all right here uh, getting fixing my, my tan <laughs> but um, not sure if it's visible on camera but it's visible in pictures for sure so but anyway what I'm doing here now is I still have my glass of red wine chilling or actually heating up <laughs> and parmigiano remember this parmigiano is from from Enrico and his wife Mariela when I was staying at them at their place mm, they gave it to me as a gift for my trip and they said that parmigiano cheese doesn't spoil really fast even when it's very hot and I think that's right so pretty good mm. so nice match now it's 20 minutes to 4 so we'll spend a little bit more time here and um, yeah I guess then I continue cycling but yeah for now the wine from Marano and good time yep this is from the Camino for the Camino and uh, I, this reminds me of Albania when we were climbing Mount Karab the highest peak high, highest mountain in Albania we were following those and when you don't see one for a long time you get quite scared because you are on a mountain in the middle of nowhere and there is not even a sign that helps you to you know orientate so you can check out Albanian videos if you want, they're pretty cool as well. But for now, after a good hour, I think I am ready to drive again. <laughs> <clears throat> so, <laughs> let's, let's, let's attempt. So, yeah, exactly. So, the plan for today is just now to continue cycling. Cycling, 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 cycling. A bit boring, but this is what it is, so... I hope I can still show some nice views and yeah, I'm not gonna make this video too long so let's just go and see where this day brings us. trucks Whoa. I don't know if you can see me but for the first time not illegal cycling in the tunnel that's actually quite cool tunnel though. Very, very interesting. Seems like very old. <laughs> and also very cold. Not very cold, but let's say quite chilly. Oh, that's a cool place though. Look at this. This could have been a railway in the past and uh, they no longer use it so therefore they decided to make a cycling path i remember seeing such a scenario in in germany no not actually yeah maybe in germany also but when we were cycling with lucas in liege there's video about it as well so those are always nice 
because they're like super flat. Just goes and goes and goes. I'm going into this nonsense, into this dirt road because cycling on that, what you just saw, it's suicide. I mean, zero space, no shoulder, zero space and trucks, lorries. So I was cycling on that when I had space and I almost got hit like super close. I could see like halfway of halfway Eh, that was a big hill. <laughs> eh. So half, halfway the lorry passed and I could see it like coming closer and closer and closer. So I don't know what it means. It means that the back is going to be even closer to me. So I break a little bit and then he passed, but like extremely close. And then I knew I don't have much water left. This is all I have, but it's fine. I'm going on navigation, it looks like a dirt road, like this, but that's fine. I would rather be walking without water than cycling on that nonsense. SS16, that's the road. Not going there again. There are some parts, I might, you know, might be a few kilometers, quite safe, but not risking it now <laughs> look people just collected wood sticks and made a shelter <laughs> to protect from the sun instead of umbrella You know what that sound means. Ah, uh, no. Is it? What the heck? I hope it was that, not the spike, not the spoke. Look at this. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. <laughs> oh. How close was that? How close was that? I thought I got a spoke broken. What the heck? What do I do with this, man? <laughs> do I take it out or? Wait, let me take a picture for Instagram. <laughs> okay, so let's figure out what to do with this now. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess we take it out, no? What do you say? <laughs> don't fall, don't fall. Let's try to take it out now. Oh. Look at this. I will mark this place. Like nothing happened. Imagine if it went through. That is Schwalbe Marathon plus tires, man. What a day. What a day. I'm back on SS16. I looked at the Google Maps that this part has a good shoulder, so 
I stick to it. What a day! And this is also a moment where I reach my personal records in four kilometers. Yeah, you can see the shoulder is okay now. But look at this! <gasps> look at the size of it, man! Look! Crazy! Crazy! Anyway, I just keep pushing right now. And I will see you in the evening, okay? Let me just have my tent again. And I will talk to you in a bit. Those are wild boars. People are afraid of them usually because they can attack them. I mean, they can attack you or get, try to get into your tent. So not a fun feeling, but watching them from the side and knowing how they look like, they're more funny than scary. But I don't want them close my, my tent anyway. Okay, I'm pushing my last kilometers. I already made a personal record, 159. I'm gonna sleep somewhere here, like there, here, I don't know, somewhere, so that's my nightmare. <laughs> I would have boars all day, all night instead of those trucks. Anyway, I have a shoulder here, so I'll keep going, see you soon. So to top it off, this whole day, this whole struggle, you already hear it, you know where I am. The place I haven't been camping for a very long time. Welcome guys, once again, to the one and only <laughs> Adriatic Sea. Woohoo! Yay! So... This coast is currently occupied by me. I will not set the tent yet for a couple of reasons. One is I'm still visible from the road. Second, there is a private factory. I couldn't, I, I tried to go there, I couldn't. And third, I want to see how high the water is and fourth, I need to check where the moon is on the sky, uh, what's the app called? Sky view. The app shows you where the moon is. So if it's going to be above the horizon, from my point of view, that means that the water is going to keep rising a little bit. So that might be, <clears throat> you know, a bit not good because if I decide to camp, let's say here, it doesn't matter if I'm there or if I'm here or if I'm five, 10 meters there, because once it's above this, this, this level, it's gonna keep going. But I think that it might be that some waves, you know, hit till here and that'll be it. They just splash and that's it. But you never know. So I have time. I have a ton of wild boars. I will take a look at what they're doing and uh, Otherwise, this is the day. I've cycled 160 something kilometers, very, very close to 1000. So tomorrow we're reaching 1000, which means a third of the trip. Crazy, time flies, but my energy is also going down. So I need to find a way to keep it up. And uh, it's always difficult throughout those days when, like days like this, you know, when it's really not much happening, but I'm still trying to film to, you know, practice filming and uh, make it some, 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 somehow interesting or exciting for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. If you do, make sure to subscribe, write a comment, write something nice. I'll be very happy to read it. And um, this is it. This is really it. This is where I am planning to stay. And uh, well, hopefully there will, will be an, a new video. If there is a new video, you know, everything went well. <laughs> anyway guys so thank you very much for watching i hope you still find it interesting to watch and exciting so uh yeah okay let me just shut up right now and uh, <laughs> and let you guys go 
So take care and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.